This is Chris Titus. Today we're going over setting up your first virtual machine in Zen Server. Um, now, what I'm using is actually XCP, um, and it's Zen Server, but with everything enabled. It's powered by the community, completely open source. Um, Zen Server started locking down a bunch of features, and that's why I use XCP now. And we're going to go right into it. I already have the XCP NG Center open. And we're going to go ahead and launch a new VM. Today, um, I could do some Linux and some other stuff, but today we're just going to do a basic Windows 10 install. Um, now, actually, before I get into this, make sure you have an ISO library. Uh, this is extremely important because this is where you'll pull your image to actually install the virtual machine from. So when you're in here, you'll, you're going to have to actually click new uh, SR and from here you're going to want to go with uh, I'm using a Windows file sharing for my main PC I just shared uh, my images folder which is located right here on my main drive let me pull that over but I basically just created a image uh, a folder drop all my images in here anything I want to add whatnot and test out I just drop in this folder and if you look at the sharing on here one second you can see what I've done and since this is a pretty closed network I just gave everyone read and write access to this and off I go another thing when you do this since this is Linux based, it's important to know that you may have to enable a Windows feature to basically allow Samba version one sharing, which you can do that by pulling up add and remove programs, turning Windows features on. Once it loads, you'll actually see it down here, SMB 1.0 SIFS file sharing support. This is extremely important you have on if you're doing a Windows 10 or Windows uh, file share to a Linux box. That's just good to know, just in case you do any uh, mixed mixed environments. So anyways, you, you, you get that going, you get your ISO library up as a storage repository, and now you're going to launch your VM. So we're just going to go new VM, Windows 10, and just name this whatever you want. We're going to go Windows 10, we're going to grab our ISO. This home server, if you have more than one Zen host, you're going to see them all pop up here. Since I only have the one, we're going to go ahead and pick this virtual CPUs. Uh, this is kind of important, and one thing I want to point out is this number, like you can put three, two. One thing a lot of people don't understand is the sockets. Now, in most instances, this doesn't matter, but if you're on a major, you know, enterprise level environment, sockets do matter. Let's say you have a very beefy server with four separate CPUs that have eight cores each, um, and you only want to use one of those physical CPUs, but you want to use two of the cores in that one CPU. You don't want to mix and mash them. So you to go with one socket, two cores, and make sure that that one CPU in there would share two of its cores and not basically split the cores between all of the available CPUs. But for this, it doesn't matter since it's a pretty low low machine I have on here. We'll go four gigs. GPU, if you want to pass the GPU through to do graphic intensive things. And, well, let's go ahead with this guy. 54, sure. And we'll start it immediately. So it'll take a little bit. It'll create the CD drive. You can see the lower left hand corner and create the VM and the disks on the actual machine. Here it comes. And it is now creating the machine. Now you can view this process once it goes from yellow to green, which it just did. It'll actually pull up here see virtualization state and the rest of it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the console. And 
and from here I'm going to go ahead and install Windows. Okay, now that we're on the tail end of the installation, um, you're going to see a couple things it's going out and finding any uh, missing drivers and stuff. You're going to see some Zen server uh, equipment pop up here and it's just going to auto install. We're going to go ahead and hit no install later. And then up here where it says the DVD drive, we're going to go ahead and eject this. Um, once that finishes ejecting, let's go ahead and flip down and we're going to want to come down here and get guest tools. This is the same for Zen Server as well, or Zen Center if you're using that instead of XCP. Um, and once guest tools loads, I'm just going to pull that up. All right. Okay, on this one, um, XCP actually does not include Windows tools with it. Uh, it will auto-optimize through Windows Update right now. Um, you see right here, I.O. is optimized now. Uh, the management agent is not installed because it's just not included with XCP yet. I think they're working on that. Um, so, But if you're using Zen Server, you will see a Windows install and MSI in here. Go ahead and install that. That'll install the management tools and you'll be up and going. Um, but always check your device manager after your VM is installed see what all you got we have this one uh, unknown device hanging out and that's going to be the management tools however if on general you do see it, it is optimized now if your VM is not optimized you're going to see extremely sluggish performance no matter how good the hardware is it's just uh, something you have to do every single time um, but that wraps up this video and this is the very first VM install for uh, beginners out there that are just starting to experiment with Zen Server and it's it's a great piece of software and it's free so till the next video